I'm gonna show you how I take me from this to this. I am partnering up with Sephora. I just need a little reset routine. I'm going out later, I have to do some Christmas shopping. I'm gonna be doing some hair care. Also, my everyday makeup routine is gonna be in this video as well because you guys have been asking for that and I thought this was a perfect opportunity because I do literally get all of my makeup from Sephora. So, perfect. My hair is super greasy. I was supposed to wash it two days ago, but then I was super busy on that day with editing, and then yesterday a bunch of stuff happened like with my car, and I wanted to film me washing my hair for this video, so it's literally been like seven days since I've washed my hair. First, taking a boar bristled brush. This one is from Crown Affair to distribute the oil from my roots to the rest of my hair. Now going in with the Fable and Main wooden comb to stimulate my scalp because we are going in with some scalp oil. This is one of my favorite hair oils, but it is my favorite hair oil to go in with when I don't really have that much time to like do my hair care routine. Normally I let my hair oil sit in for three to four hours. I like this one though because I can leave it in for five to ten minutes and I genuinely do still feel a difference when I wash my hair. Why are you putting this on like super oily hair? So kind of like how an oil cleanser removes makeup, dirt, sunscreen from the face. This is kind of working in a similar way. It helps lift all that dirt from your scalp so it does clean off easier and it just helps your hair to stay moisturized and not dry out when you wash your hair. As you can see my hair is you know a little dry. I'm gonna take half of oil and put that on my mids and ends as well. All products in this video are going to be linked in my description or you can get them in store at Sephora or online at sephora.com. If you are a beauty insider and if you're not a beauty insider, I definitely think you should sign up. I've been signed up for a that minute. You don't have to like pay anything to be in it and you can get a bunch of deals. Also, if you're a member, you can get free shipping. You get 20% off your purchases or 30% off of Sephora collection products, which is kind of insane. This is for the Sephora gifts for all event and it is from December 1st to December 10th. This offer is a one-time use, so make sure to get all of your goodies in that like one purchase. Obviously with the holidays coming up, we're buying gifts for people. Sometimes we want to treat ourselves and it's always great when you can save a little bit money. If you want to redeem your savings for the Sephora gifts for all event, you can use code YAYGIFTING online or you can actually use it when you're checking out and just tell the person like at the register. I'll be back in about five to ten minutes but lucky for you guys it's only one second to get in the shower, finally wash my hair, and we're gonna do a bunch of other little self-care things. Washing and conditioning my hair like usual with one of my faves by Crown Affair. And then my goal today was to smell bomb. So I first went in with the Boom Boom Body Scrub to exfoliate. And then I went in with the Saul de Janeiro Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. Both smell so bomb and leave my skin so moisturized, which is super important during the winter time. Last, taking my microfiber towel. This one is from Crown Affair. It reduces frizz and is just so much more gentle and healthier for your hair. I feel so fresh and I smell so good. I'm gonna let my hair soak in this towel for like 10 to 15 minutes to get a bunch of the water out because I am gonna be blow drying my hair. First, I'm gonna do some skincare. Going in with vitamin C because it helps discoloration. I never know how to say this brand, Caudalie. I just want my face to be super moisturized and my skin is like really on the dry side Usually I just go in with moisturizer and sunscreen and call it a day I need to give my skin a little more than usual right now. I love water cream This is one of my favorite moisturizers and this is the first aid beauty water cream And I got a new one because the one that I have on my shelf back here is practically empty I've been using this stuff. I think since 2018 now. I, think I just take that much like for my whole face Going in with my favorite sunscreen. It gives you a glow, but it's not greasy. Just rubbing the rest into my hands. I'm gonna go in with some eye masks. These are the ones by Topicals. Brightening and clearing for under eye darkness and puffiness. My eyes are really dark the last few days and I haven't really been getting that much sleep. So I need all the help I can get. My gosh, these are so cute. These actually feel like they're gonna stay too because I use so many of these where they slip off of my face and I'm keeping these on for when I blow dry my hair. Again, another thing that smells like coconut. This is the Glossier Coconut Balm.com and I always drown my lips in lip balm when I'm doing my hair before my makeup so then they're super moisturized for when I'm gonna put lip products on. Going in with some leave-in conditioner to keep my mids and ends very moisturized and it also is an amazing detangler. Going in with a few drops 
drops of this Fable and Main Maha Main Smooth and Shine Hair Oil. This stuff just really, really helps my hair not frizz. Helps my hair look shiny and hydrated. Plus is that it includes heat protectant. Like I mentioned earlier, I hadn't washed my hair in like quite some time and my scalp did start to get a little itchy. So I'm going in with the Kerastase Genesis Fortifying Serum. This one in specific is for weakened hair prone to falling due to breaking from brushing. And during this time of year, my hair is like a lot more brittle because of how dry it is. But I just like to apply this to my scalp after I wash it and even on dry hair because it just makes my scalp feel good and moisturized. That is it for hair care. And now I'm gonna be going in with Color Wow Dream Coat. It is activated by heat. So it is a product that you like you need to use heat with, but it just makes it so shiny and sleek and with like no frizz. I am going to be giving myself a blowout. So I'm gonna be going in with the Dyson Airwrap, but my hair is still a little bit too wet for me to go in with the Dyson Airwrap. So I'm going to kind of rough dry my hair a little bit more just with the normal Dyson blow dryer. is done. And I'm gonna let that sit while we finally get to our makeup. The topical eye masks, amazing. I have not moved these once. And that is what it looks like after. And this is our skin going into starting our makeup. First going in was my all time favorite primer, Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. And I just bought a new box. I just ran out of my other one. It is super, super hydrating and it gives like a little bit of a tacky base. And I know that might sound a little weird. It makes the rest of your makeup stay on your face, especially if you're going in with foundation. Going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. Always, always go in with bronzer first. I feel like it helps map out your face. You know, my cheekbones, a little under my nose, and on top of my nose, it gives you more of like that button nose. I'm not that into nose contouring. I can never do it right, but doing this, it makes me just look like a little more tan, and my nose like looks weird if it doesn't have like bronzer and blush on it. I put a little bronzer right here to give that lifted look, and then all around my forehead. I always, always blend in my cream contour with a beauty blender. Also, another reason why I like to do bronzer first is because if it gets a little messy and it's like everywhere, you can clean it up with concealer afterwards. I always make sure to blend this stuff down so there's not like a harsh line. For forehead bronzer too, I always make sure to get it like in my hairline because right now I've barely done it. You can see there's like a halo of whiteness. Time for concealer. I've gone through so many different concealers, but my favorite at this moment is the Hourglass Concealer. And I kind of go in like an upward motion because I want to like make my face more lifted, especially in these areas right here. And of course right here under the eyes. And I don't really go in with that much in the middle of the forehead. Before I blend that out though, I am going to be taking the Rare Beauty Eye Brightener and adding a little dot right under my eyes. And now that we're under my eyes, I'm gonna be taking the Hourglass Concealer Brush and kind of just stippling that in. Going in with the brush always gives me a little bit more coverage. And always with that concealer, I make sure to bring that up just to be very, like I feel like it makes your face a little bit more lifted. I have a few little blemishes right there. So taking the Ready to Roll Brush Set, I love this thing. Let me just show you really quick. It is so compact and this honestly is like the best thing to travel with. I am going to be taking the smallest brush right now and taking the same exact hourglass concealer getting a little on the brush and then dabbing that in with the same brush that we use under our eyes now it is time to set everything my all-time favorite powder Laura Mercier translucent powder making sure my under eyes aren't crazy. I always take a powder puff, patting it, and then patting it on the back of my hand. It just makes it like so soft looking. I go on my chin. I do put a teeny 
bit of powder right there to give it a little bit more definition. A little on the middle of my forehead. I kind of just go everywhere that we put concealer and where I get oily throughout the day. I'm also going to go down here because sometimes the bronzer, since I'm not like super accurate with it, can get a little messy. Since forever, I have used the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I just lightly feather in and my main thing is like I have some like sparseness right here and then I have this spot right here. I am in the shade taupe. I'm gonna take an angled brush and this is from that same pack of brushes. Going in with our concealer, preferably the same exact shade as your skin. Making sure you have barely anything on your brush. Benefit 24 hour brow gel. This is my favorite because it doesn't dry down like immediately when you put it on there, but it like really does keep your brows in place. I first go through them like this, the opposite way to really make sure every hair is coated with it. Wipe away any like residual powder on my face. This is usually when I go in with setting spray, so I'm going to be going in with the Sephora Makeup Setting Spray. Going in with a few drops of hair oil, and this is the Kerastase one. This is like my favorite hair oil ever. I go in with this like every single night. I'm taking the Dior blush in pink. This is my all time favorite blush. And on this brush, I put it like on the apples of my cheeks and then bring it up a little bit, but mainly do focus it right there. I go a little heavier with it, especially during the winter time. Cause I just, I feel like, ooh, like I look cold. And I never forget to put a little bit on my nose. I've also been doing this thing. I saw like it in a video where people put it on like, like right here. I don't know, but I've been doing it and it's cute. So now for lashes, the Tweezer Man Lash Girl. I recently got a new one because I had my other one for such a long time and I feel like it was time to get a new one. My lashes were super long, literally like two weeks ago. I use eyelash serum. If you've never used eyelash serum before, you know, it grows out your lashes that you like already have, but then like those slowly fall out if you're using it Correctly and using it super consistently every single day. They slowly fall out, but you have other thicker lashes that are growing in there. are gonna be even stronger, longer, and thicker. But I was using lash serum and I kind of just started skipping days and then all of those lashes that were super long fell out and now I'm just stuck with these little chode ones. Take it from me, if you're gonna use eyelash serum, don't be skipping days. If you've watched my channel for a while, you kind of know I'm like more against mascara, but I've kind of been obsessed with it recently and this is the Lancome Definisil. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but and then I do add a little bit on the bottom But like mainly on the outer part of my eye. I feel like it opens up my eyes more If you get any mascara on your skin about a little under here You just scratch it off with a spoolie last and honestly the most important part It really is gonna bring the look together. Okay, and that is lips. I have two favorite lip liners from RMS Beauty. These are my favorite lip liners. I have Morning Dew and Sunset Nude. Morning Dew is more like my exact lip color and this one's a little darker. And I'm gonna go in with a darker one today. Benetint by Benefit. Even if I'm not wearing any makeup, I put this stuff on my lips. Because my lips are so naturally pale. Like when my lips get chapped and they're like more red, I like it because my lips are literally always so pale. Recently just bought a new one. I actually have so many of the Dior lip oils. I lost this one a really long time ago and this was one of the first ones I bought and it is my favorite. And it is just the shade pink. And this is what's gonna make our lips look favorite go-to lip combo. Final step is our scent. And this one is by Chanel. My goal in life is to be that girl that's like walking around in the mall and you're like, she smells so bomb. That's my goal in life. This is the final result and I can confidently say that I feel a million times better than I did in the beginning of the filming of this video. I feel more confident. I feel more put together. My hair is super soft. My makeup is fresh. And don't forget, absolutely everything I used in this video is from Sephora, so you can find it in a Sephora store on sephora.com. And I have everything in order, linked down below in the description box. And I think that's it, so I'm gonna get going. You guys can stay here though, and you guys can like keep watching videos if you want. Okay, 
See ya. <sighs> Bye. I don't know if you like the way I put my words together, but I need you to stick with me just like some birds to feathers. But my like bricks and scales hand in hand.